Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Gallows here, DIY Mississippi Film Watch. This is going to be my top five weekly wrestling shows. And, you know, you know what I'm talking about, you know, Raw, SmackDown, stuff like that. So, get to the very bottom here. Hold on a sec, I got an itch. My nose is itching. Ugh. All right, number five. Impact, yeah, I know, LOL, TNA. And yes, yeah, back when Hogan and Dixie were in TNA, the show wasn't that good. But the last year's Impact has been a very fun two hours of wrestling. They got one of the best women's divisions in North America. They got some of the, they got one of the best tag teams in the world, the North. And plus, I'm really enjoying the kind of goofier stuff they're doing, like Wrestler's Court and all the stuff with Johnny Swinger. It's just a fun two hour show. It's probably it's the only two hour wrestling show I'll watch every week. Number four, Ring of Honor. Before the COVID virus shut down Ring of Honor for a while there. I got to where I wasn't watching it every week because you might get one full match and versus just clips and just wasn't appealing to me. Hold on, this is just, ugh, my beard's itching. But since they came back a few months ago, it's been really, really good. Ring of Honor works best when they focus on what makes them different from everyone else in feds, which is, you know, their enforcement of the rules. And this pure title tournament has been great. And the little background videos they're doing on everybody, really, really fun. Number three, MLW Fusion. Since this show started airing on BN Sports about two years ago, it's been can't miss TV for me. I was so happy when I discovered I actually got the channel it airs on. And even if you don't get BN Sports, there's ways to watch it legally. Like um, YouTube has new episodes. Actually, they have it up before BN does. It air, new episodes air on Wednesdays on YouTube, on Pluto, DAZN, Fubo. But if you don't get anything, you got BN, you can watch it in. And this is a great mixture of all styles. You got strong style, you got lucha libre. You got a little bit of everything, and right now they're doing the Opera Cup, which is really, really fun. It's definitely, it's, they have, you know, everyone's what you have, you'll have some matches that just don't, ain't as good as there, but a lot of fun. Number two, Limitless Wrestling, The Road. This is Limitless weekly show. It's on uh, IWTV. It's one hour, and it, every week. I'm not disappointed. Every week you get to see, you know, three to four really good matches. And it's just match, maybe an interview after the thing. That's it. It's exactly what I'm saying. And to me, it's by itself limitless. The road is worth the $10 I'm paying a month for IWTV. There's nothing else on there. It'd be worth the $10, but there's so much more on there. And limitless has some of these great talent that nobody knows about. Now, number one, Dark Side of the Ring. This is such a well-done show. You know, they take a different subject each week and talk about it. Uh, I personally think season two was even better than the first season. Only drawback is they only do like eight or 12 episodes a year. So once they're shown, you got to wait a long time for the next batch. Season three is being worked on right now. I've heard some rumors about what's going to be on it. And what I was so good about is this show appeals to people who ain't even lifelong wrestling fans. I've watched it with people that are not even really into wrestling. They've really enjoyed it. My only complaint is, is that to me, Dark Side of the Rings, Sister Show, The Wrestlers, which only got one season, was even better than Dark Side, but we never got a second season on that. So, you know, what y'all's top five weekly wrestling shows of 2020, you know? Leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.